What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be doing the gin cocktail challenge. Actually, it's the Educated Barflies gin cocktail challenge. Uh, in my years as a bartender, I really realized that there are a lot of people that are just very scared of gin drinks. Every time I would suggest a drink when somebody wanted like a bartender's choice or something, people would sort of shy away from it because they just weren't used to the category. And I just think that it's uh, not that people don't like it, but it's just a very misunderstood category of spirit. So I put together a cocktail challenge which is a progression of cocktails that go, goes from something that's like very citrusy and approachable to a gin martini at the very last. I've had a pretty good uh, track record with this challenge and uh, now I'm challenging you guys to take the challenge. And more specifically, those of you that watch this channel that say they don't like gin, I'm challenging you to make these cocktails and see, do you not like gin? Are you going to take the challenge with me? Let's get into it. For our first cocktail, I decided to make an east side. Now, this is something that uses the botanical nature of the gin, pairing other botanical flavors with it. So instead of hiding the flavor of our alcohol, we are enhancing it. So first thing we're gonna do is just a small palm full of mint. I would say eight to 10 leaves. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna do a bunch of little cucumber slices because I could only find the tiny Persian cucumbers. Uh, so I'm gonna do like five of these, but if you have just like a regular sized cucumber, it would be like two slices. Then I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, and then two ounces of our gin. We're using Mulholland gin for its cucumber forward profile. We're gonna give it all muddle, just enough to break up the cucumbers a little bit uh, and just press them in lightly. And then we're gonna add some ice to our tin. Give it a nice shake. And then it's important to double strain, in my opinion, for this particular uh, cocktail. There, are, People are split on this. You know, if you don't double strain, you're gonna get a lot of little mint pieces in, in here. Some people like that. So if, you, if that's your thing, you could do that. I like to double strain, just have a nice, really clean, very clean drink. So I like to just lay a, a leaf on there. All right, let's taste this. Now this is a crowd-pleasing drink, and it is the very first drink that I would give to somebody who is making their first foray into gin from vodka. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this video is all about how I convince people that they do not actually, in fact, hate gin. Um, this drink is very crisp and clean. It's got a very nice, clear balance between the lime and the simple syrup. We actually used equal parts lime and simple, so it's gonna be a little bit more balanced and a little bit less tart, but you still get that nice bright tartness. You get the nice kind of mint flavor along with the uh, botanicals of the gin. This is something where we are not hiding the flavor of the alcohol. We are actually enhancing the flavor of the alcohol with further botanicals. And when people have argued me on this point, when I've been doing this little test with them, uh, we will make one side by side vodka and gin. And you'll notice that when, if you do that at home, if you decide to do a vodka and a gin one, then you'll notice that the vodka one tastes a little bit flat because it's just missing those uh, botanicals because what is vodka? Vodka is gin without botanicals or what is gin? Gin is vodka with botanicals. Uh, so there you have it, the east side. So the next foray into our gin challenge is the bee's knees. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is just three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. And I do a three to one honey syrup. Then we're doing three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice and two ounces of gin, pretty simple. Now adding our ice to our tin, add our cocktail, give it a nice hard shake. Double strain into our glass. Oh, look at that aeration, that's really nice. I love that aeration, so nice. Usually you would do a lemon wedge on this cocktail, but I would give it like a nice kind of modern garnish. Mm, that's good. So I chose this cocktail because um, it's still kind of in that sweet and satisfying realm, but because you're using honey instead of simple syrup, the sweetness is a little more rounded. It's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more savory. It's a more subtle. You get a little bit more, you just get a little bit more of the tartness of the lemon in there. And then um, obviously you're getting kind of those botanical notes of the gin. Uh, so it's just like one step towards the inevitable you know, march toward a martini, which is what I always try to get people to do. So there it is, the bee's knees. All right, next cocktail we're doing is called an artillery. So first thing we're gonna do is just a couple few dashes of orange bitters, an ounce and a half of sweet vermouth, 
just an ounce and a half of our number three gin. And then stir it down. And then we're just gonna strain it into our glass. And then give it a nice orange twist. Let's give it a sip. This, this. Pretty much this drink is like a Martinez kind of spec or like a sweet martini kind of spec. Uh, it's a 50-50. Uh, with orange bitters, you get a nice bit of that orange pop, you know, from that orange zest right up front. The orange bitters kind of take out the sweetness a little bit. This is a nice transition between a shaken gin drink and a martini. So there it is, the artillery. All right, so the inevitable end of our video was going to be a gin martini, and this is a cocktail that I've done a lot on this channel, but I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, here's the part where everyone who has taken this challenge gets a little bit scared because there are someone who said that they didn't like gin to begin with and then they're about to drink the mother of all gin drinks. All right, let's get into making the drink and then we'll discuss it a little bit more. All right, first thing we're gonna do is just uh, a couple few dashes. I like to do six out of here, six to eight out of the Japanese, so maybe four dashes of orange bitters if you're just using the regular dasher bottle. And it's gonna be super simple, guys, just one ounce of dry vermouth and two ounces of gin. We're gonna get a nice stir. All right, then we're gonna pour our cocktail. For me, it just works really well with the orange bitters, just kind of bringing that orange back around. Oh, so nice and clean. There's nothing better than just like a cold, very clean and crisp martini now. You know, for my money, this is uh, very the most complex and just super interesting, flavorful drink. So crisp and so good and just so satisfying. There it is, the martini. Let's have another sip of it. Oh, that is just fantastic. So there it is, the martini. All right, guys, and that concludes my gin cocktail challenge. Hopefully those of you who have followed along and made the drinks and, and drank them with me uh, like gin now. But if you don't like gin now, then you know what? There's a lot of other videos on this channel for you and you definitely are one of those people, those rare, rare people who don't like gin. So yes, go watch some other videos. If you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on our, uh, our YouTube memberships. Check out our Teespring t-shirts. We've got some cool stuff going on there. Uh, check out all the affiliate links and Amazon uh, links that we have below for all our gear and everything. And I'll see you guys on another time.